Dochku Abu. Nobody is allowed to sell any item in front of the church premises. Provisions will be made at the new church building. All five-star women should wait after service for important briefing. There is going to be a crucial meeting with the workforce group. Therefore, all sweet workforce are expected to wait after service today. Most teenagers are focused on here and now, but some savvy young people are already thinking about their financial future. Building wealth as a teenager may seem like a daunting task, but it is not as difficult as it sounds. With a little planning and discipline, you can improve your financial health for decades to come. If you are looking for some specific ideas on how to start building wealth as a teenager, then this is for you. Moneywise Institute Summer Coaching for Teens presents Downloading Wealth Creation Software in Teenagers. Courses include Understanding Money Science, Understanding Wealth Creation, Cracking the Money Code, Developing Problem Solving Skills. Date Tuesday 23rd to 27th August 2022. Time 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. Venue Swift Conference Center 67/2. Victoria Avenue faces Transecolo, Enogo. When you register with just 5,000 Naira, you will get a registration pack which is a book Where Can This Money Be Found by Casey Richard, course outline and a snack break. Do not afford to miss this. Remember, it's Moneywise Institute Summer Coaching for Teens and it's downloading wealth creation software in teenagers. Do not miss it. Register your kids now and be Moneywise. Thank you for watching. I hope to see more of you in church same time next week. On behalf of our executive producers, Katie and Gloria Richards, and the entire production team, do have a lovely week and enjoy the rest of the service. Hallelujah, somebody. It's becoming an awesome time in God's presence this morning. I just wanted to wear a smile on your face this morning, wherever you are. Come on, give Jesus a smile. No matter what has happened, just give Jesus a smile this morning. We won't sing until we see you smiling. In fact, we want to see you laughing this morning. <laughs> Come on, somebody just laugh wherever you are. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Just celebrate yourself one more time. The Bible is speaking, it says, the Bible is speaking, it says, arise and shine. It said, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Come on, how many persons understand that they have that glory inside of them this morning? You're going to shine for it this morning. You're going to shine for it. You're going to shine for it because God is interested in you. Hallelujah. Clap of in the house. Celebrate it. The winds blow and the trees wave in everything. The sound in the atmosphere forced the birds to sing in harmony as the dew flowers send up the fragrance of grass. 
sees the sky, the beauty and splendor. The whole earth is full. The sound, the sound of the angels and the sound is revealed in you this morning. Mountains standing tall, valleys laying low, sun and moon and stars, all creation revealed. Oh, sovereign God. Mighty God, Elohim, He says, Let there be and created me, and now I can sing. The whole earth is full, the whole earth is full, yes, the full of His glory. Yeah, my the God, my God, when He speaks, oh, and the heavens declare, the heavens declare, the song. Of the and our town and now sound is revealed, yeah. And we sing the whole earth is full, full of His glory. And the nation resounds when He speaks, and the heavens declare the sound. Down right now, he's revealed, he's revealed with me. And Lord, we is the sound, the sound of your glory, and the sound is revealed. Within that sound is inside of you this morning. Wherever you are, just ask your face and say, Lord, say, Lord, release, release the sound, the sound of your glory. Come on, it's risen within you this morning. You shall be that because the sound will shine from within. Let the sound, let the sound, the sound of glory be revealed in you. together and just speak to yourself now saying Lord reveal the weight of your glory release the weight of your glory release the weight of your glory reveal the weight of your glory Release the sound, the sound of your glory. The sound of your glory. Release the sound, the sound of your glory. The sound of your glory. Release the sound, the sound of your glory. The sound of your glory. And release the sound, the sound of your glory. The sound of your glory. Hold on, hold on. All right. We're going to do this song in another dimension this morning. While we're singing, I don't know. It's like the whole place is just cold this morning. I need to feel that thing from you. I need to feel that energy. We are not singing. We are praying, okay? We are praying. We are asking God to release the sound that he has walked inside of us. We are asking him to bring it out. We, are, we want to be clothed in that glory this morning. So while we are singing, they are singing for themselves this morning. So I need you to sing for yourself. That part is very simple. Ask God to release the weight of his glory upon you. If you don't mind, you can rise to your feet this morning while we do this together. Just rise to your feet wherever you are. Let's ask God to release that sound on us. Even when it doesn't look like it. 
even when it doesn't look like it even when we don't look like it this morning we're gonna pray down the glory of the lord one more time let's make it up thing lord really the way of your glory 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 the way of the sound of your glory the sound of your the sound of your glory can we say the sound of your glory this morning we call it the sound of the glory of the Lord let it be revealed inside of us this morning the sound of his glory the sound of his glory the sound of his glory let it be revealed inside of us the sound of his glory we say the sound of his glory the sound of your glory the sound of your glory what a release, the weight and the sound. Just make it a prayer this morning. Ask God to release that sound upon you this morning. Ask for the weight of His glory to rest upon you. Ask for the capacity to carry it. Ask for the weight of the glory to be revealed in you. Let it rest on me this morning. That's the prayer. Come on, let's pray this morning. Ask for the weight to rest upon you. I can't hear believers pray this morning. Come on, somebody pray. Give it voice. Give it voice. It has gone beyond the song. It is not just a song. It will be a very, it will be awful for this season to go by and that weight is not upon you. Ask God, say, clothe me with your glory. Clothe me with your glory. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you pray. I can't hear you pray. Maybe we should take you to the next level this morning and just pray those words in tongues. All over the house this morning, just pray those words in tongues. Come on, talk to your father this morning. Come on, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Let it be Lord, release the way of your glory. And Father, release the way of your glory. The weight, the weight of your glory. The weight of your and glory. Release, release the weight, the weight and the sound. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. For the weight of glory that is resting upon us in this service. The word says the light affliction that we go through is nothing compared to the weight of glory that you're about to receive in this time and in this season. Thank you, awesome Father, for your glory, for the manifestations of your glory in diverse ways. We bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Can someone just lift up your voice and tell the Lord, Lord, I want to see your glory. Lord, I want to see your glory. I don't know what you have experienced so far as a child of God. Is it that when you got born again, it's been from one challenge to another? But Lord, this morning, in this season of glory, I want to see your glory. is, And you want to see the opposite. I just want you to lift up your voice and cry out lord as my feet is washed today let the shame let the pain let the circumstance be washed off let the glory of god let the glory of god let that testimony manifest in this area in that area of my life lift up your voice and talk to the lord La kapata la shada la da bakata saya. Le kabadina mando predeshikli da mahanda lida da da sayada. 
Hey, I don't know if I have people in the house that want a change of story. You are trusting God for a change of story. You circle this mountain for so long. They're asking you, where is your God? You have become a mockery to the name of Jesus. But this morning, there is a change of story prepared for you. Oh, Malasu Brehanda Gada Shakayadaba. Hannah had the shame of her life. The shame of barrenness was before Hannah for so many years. But when God came through for her, Samuel came forth. She saw the glory of God in the person of Samuel. She saw the glory of God in the person of Samuel and the other children. What is that thing? What is that shame before you? That you're saying, Lord, I will not be put to shame. Lift up your voice and talk to God about it. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you because you're about to reveal to us again the words, the things that will transform our lives. Be thou exalted, mighty Father. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Your word says it shall come to pass on that day that the yoke will be taken away from your shoulder and the burden from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the glory of God in this house this morning. Thank you because we shall have a testimony. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together for Jesus and have your seat in God's presence. Praise the Lord. We are still in the season of glory and it's been an amazing time of revelation. I don't know how many of us have been catching some revelations and God is transforming your life through that. This morning you're still going to have one more. That one, that one that will break the camel's back. The Lord will reveal it to you this morning in Jesus' name. Father, thank you. It is the revelation that you have that brings about your testimony, transformation, and the change of story. It is the revelation of God's word that you have concerning a particular challenge or a particular phase or season of your life that determines the level of transformation, testimony, or change of story that you will experience. So that means, as a child of God, as a human being, if you don't have a better knowing, a better understanding of what you're going through, that situation can linger for a long time. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. But the glory of kings is to search it out. It is God's glory to hide things from you. But it's your glory as a king to search it out. That means when you seek it, when you search it out, God won't have any choice but to reveal it to you. That's why he prayed in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, he said that the eyes of your understanding may be open to know what, to know the secrets that are hidden before you. If only you can believe all things are possible. If only you can believe all things are possible to you. Glory is the opposite of your present situation. Glory is the opposite of your, pre of your present situation. I'm going to be giving us illustrations, personal testimonies. My name is Glory after all. So praise the Lord. So I have forged the glory of God. Yes, he has given me so much knowledge about how things work. John 6, 6 is my favorite scriptures. He said this to test him for he himself knew what to do. He's only someone that has a revelation that knows what to do part time. So if only you can believe this morning for a change of story, you're going to have it and you tell you come back here and you will share the testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read Proverbs 25 verse 2 from the Passion Translation. He said, God conceals the revelation of his word 
in the hiding place of his glory. Follow me diligently. The Lord will give us understanding this morning in Jesus' name. Said God conceals the revelation of his word in the hiding place of his glory. But the glory of kings is revealed by how thoroughly they search out the deeper meaning of all that God says. Your glory is revealed by how thoroughly you search out the deeper meaning of all that God is saying to you or has said to you. Most of us have one thing or the other that God has spoken, but you don't know how to translate it into a testimony. The reason is because you have not thoroughly searched out the deeper meaning of those things that God is saying to you. But this morning, I assure you that your eyes of understanding will break open in the name of Jesus. Your, I can't hear a, a believing amen. Your faith needs to rise in the house. I remember when I got married. December I took in and uh, you know, the thing left December 8th. I, was, I felt very bad. It's like, oh, is this, this is not the way now. This is not the route. What is happening? February 14, to be precise, I took in. Before then, I had a, a program I was attending, Thriving Business Women Fellowship. And I came for that meeting that day. The woman of God was preaching. I said, there's someone here that is about to laugh. God wants to give you laughter. He said, what God will do for you will make you laugh. And those that will see you will laugh with you. I said, if you're here, you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb, come out. I was like, hey, I just got married. <laughs> How will I enter this, you know, pedestal of looking for the fruit of the womb? I came out and he said, all of you line up on this, on this uh, uh, red carpet signifying the blood of Jesus. We lined up, and when she got to me, she laid hands on me and she said, You will laugh. And they that will hear it will laugh with you. I said, Amen. And that same month, God gave me triplet. I got pregnant, and nine months, eight months, and three weeks later, I gave birth to my set of triplets. In the process of, you know, pregnancy, there were things God said to me. That if I didn't know, I would have, if I didn't have a deeper revelation of what God was saying, I would have followed religion and I would miss out either one or two of the triplets. He said to me one of those days, you will deliver through seers. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. But the glory of kings is to thoroughly search out the deeper meanings of what God says to you. I said, okay, how will it be? I settled that in my heart. I was trying to pray it away. It refused to go. I knew that this was God talking to me. 30 weeks into the pregnancy, I was on bed rest for five weeks. And that was when I knew truly, there's no how I would have delivered three babies all by myself. It is the glory of God to conceal matters concerning you. But if you are a lazy Christian, you will not live beyond the surface. The juice is in the hidden place. He said he hides it in the hiding place of his glory. So if you are to assess that realm, you must be someone that, that yearns for that intimacy. He's in the place of intimacy. He explains things. It's just explanation. He said, ask of me, and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Majority of us are having issues, or we are staying, we are on that, you know, circle, in that circle for a long time because we're looking for the men's attention when you're supposed to be seeking the attention of your father. Lord, what would you have me do? Why is this thing like this? I remember a long time ago, as a young girl, I was a very prayer person. I'm a prayer person. I pray. It's one of my ministries. And one night, I staged a, a prayer time with God, and I was praying, praying. All of a sudden, I saw a, a tent. And inside that tent, there was a table that had a red cloth 
covered covering it and i was praying i was asking lord what is this he said pray let the that table catch fire so i was praying and the table caught fire he said let the pray again let the high priest you know be arrested and taken you know taken care of so i was praying them in spirit and he was telling me these things all of a sudden i saw something like you know this local lamp that they use in the market i saw it opened it just like, poof. i said what is this he said your glory has just opened up praise god say your glory just opened up and since then my life has never known a better yesterday you can imagine if i didn't pray there would be no revelation maybe i won't be here today so if you're not ready to pray you're not yet ready to experience his glory glory is simply a opposite of what you're going through isn't it so if you don't pray to have access into those deep things that god has in store for you you may remain there for a long time god said to me he said this service this service is feet washing service it was not announced when we were preparing god said it's going to be feet washing service those things you have received some but there are things that have entered your life over the years that need to be washed off is a brief service we're not going to take so much time but you're going to pray there are things you see that you have all it takes to move forward but you're not moving you have the revelation you have the abilities you hear god expressly but why are you still where you are that says by a prophet he led them out of egypt by a prophet he preserved them and took them into the promised land i am here as god's servant this morning to lead you into your promised land in the name of jesus christ i just want you to lift up your voice i don't know that thing hey some of us there's someone here you you want to get married you even have a child but to break that genes of to be called a married woman is not forthcoming an enemy has done this you've prayed you felt hey i've prayed now if god doesn't want to do it let him not do it <clears throat> by the reason of this service that embargo will be lifted from your shoulders i said that embargo will be lifted from your shoulders there are some people foolishness just is ravaging them but you have wisdom you contain wisdom but what comes out of you is foolishness it is not ordinary the lord is here this morning hey lekaba if you look at john chapter 13 jesus was washing the disciples feet he got to peter he said god you will not wash my feet ah, god forbid ah, let's read the john chapter 13 from verse 7 he said jesus replied okay let me get from verse 6 i'm reading from the passion translation so but when jesus got to simon peter he objected and said i can't let you wash my dirty feet you are my lord jesus replied you don't understand yet the meaning of what i am doing but soon it will be clear to you peter looked at jesus and said you will never wash my dirty feet never that's what happened to some of us jesus is showing you the way you are saying no it cannot be me it, no 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 you have come to know more than your savior you have more revelation than the revealer of truth this morning you shall be delivered like peter in the name of jesus but peter he, he jesus said but peter if you don't allow me to wash your feet as a matter of emphasis jesus responded then you will not be able to share life with me you will not be able to share in my glory 
if you do not allow me wash your feet as a matter of emphasis you cannot share in my glory you cannot share my life with me there is a life in christ it's called the zoe in that life you have glory is our natural habitat riches is what will exude power is with us he said to peter if you do not let me wash my parts you cannot collect your part of inheritance and G that was when the revelation came to peter and he said lord in that case don't just wash my feet wash my hands and my head too but jesus said to him you are already clean oh thank you holy spirit i pray for understanding right now i pray that someone will have an understanding said you are already clean you've been washed completely and you need just and you just need your feet to be cleansed you have been washed completely all you need all you just need your feet cleansed because you have stepped on so many things that is not allowing you to enter into your inheritance you start on some things. Some things have entered into you. You have it in potential form, but it's not manifesting. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? The feet are dirty. The Bible says your feet will shine with the gospel of, of light. But when you're preaching the gospel, hey, he said to the angel, take away the filthy garment from Joshua take it away joshua was a righteous priest he was the priest of the most high but he had a filthy garment what happened an enemy wore it on him so you can be a believer ah le kapasu koprehada tongue talking you share revelations but it's not commensurate with the life that you live something is wrong somewhere and this morning by the anointing of god in the house it is going to be taken away from you in the name of jesus christ whatever you are experiencing now is meant to give birth to the glory of god let me read it the way he wrote said it to me say whatever you are experiencing now is meant to give birth to the glory that is hidden in the prevailing circumstances Samuel, he became one of the greatest prophets. Hello. When Elizabeth gave birth to John, there was no prophet like him. So in your case, no oh God, oh God, oh God. God said to me, I will break records through you. God is going to break record through someone in this place. It doesn't matter the record that has been set. I was, I was not there. I was not there. He was not yet in my life when God told me this. When he came in, God gave us the mandate, go and set new records. It's not a coincidence. He worked it in him. He worked it in me. Two record breakers came together. You don't have a choice. If you are a truly, if you're truly a son and a daughter in this house, you don't have a choice but to set new records in the name of Jesus Christ. John 11 verse 42, Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death. It's because he had a revelation. Every other person's saw Lazarus is sick from there he died and he was buried for four days even Martha this, this sister said if you were here before now he would have risen you would have been able to do something but now he stinks Jesus said I'm the resurrection and the life he said I know she said I know but I don't think it is in the present continuous she related it to the future but I'm telling you this morning, Jesus, the resurrection power, Jesus, the res resurrector, is in present continuous form. That's why he said, if the spirit that raised Jesus dwells in you, that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead will quicken your mortal body to resurrection in the name of Jesus. 
do i have faith in the house this morning that next sunday before this season is over we all come we will line up sharing testimonies of glory that this is how it was but god did it do i have faith in the house to contain that if you have that faith i want you to rise up on your feet just pray, just pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Kaladaba, shikali dama so prende. Eh le katali sali namando shata bada yabada. Yeah, le gedosu kaprada ya. Do you know what the outcome of your situation is going to be? I know whom I believe that when he is done with me, I will comfort as gold. Ne kapata yada baba. Ile lo shada ba. It doesn't matter what I am seeing now, but I know her. Tunde today I will see him as he is uh, hey, for revelation will come for me to see uh, see the situation the way it is uh, and be able to dance around it uh, and be able to speak the right words uh, that will bring about a change of story that thing that has been spoken to you I want you to give energy to it uh, I want you to give a voice to it uh, I want you to release your faith if you have found it if you have found it you need your prayers you need your prayers activated to bring about the change of story hey Pray, pray. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, to conceal the next stress of your life. But your glory as a king is to search it out. Your glory as a king is to search it out. I need the revelation. Hey, not the head knowledge. Revelation knowledge. Revelation knowledge. Hey, le basu tu praga ba 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 ha. Hey, le zota praga ba 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 ha. Allah sata ba ya ba. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, please sit down for a minute. Oh, kalasi mahandele de braha. I decree the spirit of grace and supplication upon you. You can't be like those that came to their time of visitation you didn't know and the day passed you by. It's not meant to be. If only you can contain your spirit, soul, mind, and body and concentrate on what God is saying to you this morning, you shall have a testimony in the name of Jesus. I don't need you to observe lying vanity. Somebody is saying, ha, it has been like this for a long time. How am I sure? The Lord will deliver you from that unbelief this morning. In the name of Jesus. Ah, that man cried out, Lord, I believe. But help my unbelief. Paraventure, ha, there are things within me that will not allow me to enter into this pool. To enter into this train, to enter into this cloud of glory, have mercy on me. Someone need to pray that prayer this morning. Enough of allowing the world to dictate for you. You want to pray, ah, your phone beeps, and you leave that prayer arena. You start checking your phone. That is the wiles and the caprices of the devil. It cannot hold you down anymore in the name of Jesus. For some of us, we have what God has spoken to us. So if you have found it, what are you going to do with it? If you have found it, if you have searched it out, what do you need to do with it? You need to water it with prayer. In the place of prayer, that's when you release your angels to go into, into manifestation, to go into the activities of the Spirit. They are the one that takes away embargo from your road. They are the one that clears the road. Bible says, I've sent them as ministering spirits to the air of salvation. You're not alone. You're not alone. Don't stop behaving as if uh, I don't have anybody around you. You have 72,000 angels. When I taught them in swift process that you have 72, they are in different quarters of your life. If you need money, call for the, the angels of supply. But my God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. They will bring the money to you. They will tell you what to do to have access to that money. 
you are sick he said ah by his stripes you were healed angels activate my healing now they will bring your healing god is not standing up from his throne anymore he sits on the throne and at the right hand there are pleasures evermore he, and you believe them and you're working with it as the revelation of God no more no more it is the glory of God to conceal a matter to conceal the deep things about your life but your glory is to search it out it is hidden in the hiding place of his glory the glory cloud is not a cloud like when rain wants to fall some people feel when they, they, they must experience the glory it has to be like a cloud you know you just enter into the smoke and you're going and you're going no 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 the glory of God is within your heart once you can have a koinonia with the revelation of his word you have entered his glory and whatever he says to you at that time there is faith to carry it out but you must pray after you have searched it out that is where you know there are tongues and there are tongues there is tongue of men and there are tongues of angels at that time you're not going to speak like man you begin to speak the tongues of angels and it has access they begin to quote scriptures the spirit of God begins to pray through you praying the scriptures you have discovered you have searched out it is God's glory to conceal a matter but the glory of kings it is to search it out rise up on your feet I release this same grace I carry this morning into your life it is not the agenda of God that you are 40 you are 45 you are not yet married ah you are a young man, a graduate, you don't have anything. 50 naira offer you do not have. It is no longer, it is no longer in vogue to have the form of godliness and deny the power. No more. Pray, 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 pray. Pray your destiny depends on this moment. That embargo is taken away. Jesus. Oh, let's see my Jesus. Let the gates be open. Let access be granted. Somebody put your head on your stomach. He can't have been this as a pray, 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 oh God, let the weight of your glory let my son Taba Shaka Taba Jesus. Oh, my son Taba, yes, son Taba, hallelujah. Please have your seat. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You argue when you do not have revelation somebody didn't get that you argue because you do not have revelation look at isaiah 25 from verse 5 quickly isaiah 25 this one will help you to pray very well it will help you to activate your faith please please he said you will reduce the noise of aliens as heat in a dry place all those strangers that say no manner of things about your life they will say it here they will say it there they will say it everywhere your voice cannot even be heard the bible says he, he will reduce the noise of aliens someone say amen, amen. as heat in a dry place as heat in the shadow of a cloud the song of the terrible ones will diminish another translation says the song of the terrible one will cease 
There are people singing all manner of songs. Somebody came and looking for validation over your life. If they meet such people, the, the terrible ones, they will sing an, an assault song concerning you. <laughs> I want to marry. I need a young girl. I need a young man, as the case may be. Hey, that will know. But if somebody, no, 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 no. That is the song of the terrible ones. You need a contract. You submitted your proposal. And someone will go before the high priest or the chief magistrate and say, no, no, don't give him. All. If you give him, he will eat the money. That person may not have met you from Adam. <laughs> it should tell you, this thing should let you know that ah, it is error in high places. He said, oh, take it back, please. He said, the noise of the terrible ones will cease. For like the relentless heat of the desert, but you silence the road. Oh, you've confused me now. Please, go back to where we were. Praise the Lord. Has the brook dried up? Isaiah 25 from verse from verse 5 he said you will reduce the noise of aliens as heat in a dry place as heat in the shadow of a cloud the song of the terrible ones will be diminished and in the mountain of the Lord of hosts and in this mountain of the Lord of hosts we make for all people a feast of choice pieces he will make for us a feast of choice pieces. so anything you want on this mountain you can collect it whatever your desire is whatever your challenge is you can harvest the testimony in the name of jesus he said a feast of wines on the lees of fat things full of marrow of where refined wines on the lees all these are uh, israelite uh, you know illustrations but you can put feast of fat things a duplex in vgc even if i'm not living there i'll put it on rent yes massive lands for Sweetville group of schools i'm telling you my own you better start saying you he said on this mountain this morning on this mountain on this mountain of glory he will make a feast of fat things he will process things that means is your faith you need to collect it here he said and he will destroy that means on that same mountain there are two things that are present look at verse 6 and he will destroy on this same mountain the surface of the covering kaliba dasha cast over all people the same people he has made a feast for there is a covering over them there is a covering you're seeing the feast you're seeing all the beautiful things but you ain't assessing it why there is a covering the young man has been around you for ages He's not proposing. Kelena Akapatelia. There is a covering. But on this mountain, he will take away the surface of the covering and the veil that is spread over all the nations. He will tear the veil. Please, can we have the feet washing materials, please? He will tear the veil. He will swallow up death forever. Someone say amen. He will swallow up death and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. It's not some faces. It's all faces. But it depends on your faith. If you have enough faith to collect all the fat things, to see the veil taken away from your face, so that you can see the glorious things that are spoken, that are written about you. The Bible says glorious things are spoken of you glorious things are spoken of me glorious things are spoken of you this time around not just spoken glorious things will begin to manifest concerning my life praise the lord we shall be rising up on our feet now we're going to pray by the reason of this feet washing father take away the surface of the veil concerning my life my business rise up on your feet rise up i feel somebody should be praying in other tongues are you tired the devil pursuing you is not tired though. Don't allow him to weary you with thoughts. 
Some people are thinking, I don't even have 15 naira to go back home. Enough, enough is enough. In this season and in this place, we are a wealthy people. He said, on this mountain, on this mountain, today, not today, I am not going anywhere until this veil is taken away. My eyes are open to see. Kala shakabadaya. By the reason of this feet washing, Father, take away the surface of the veil concerning my life, my business, my marriage, my family, and make a feast of fat things a change of story. And give me a change of story on this mountain, Lord. Take away the veil, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Take away the veil, take away the veil. Take away the veil, take away the veil. Take away the veil. Take away the veil. Take away the veil, take away the veil. You're not praying. You're not praying. You're not praying. The effect of having prayer of a righteous man avails much. It makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. Pray like someone that I have understanding. The reason why people don't pray is because they don't have understanding. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let me hear your believing amen. There are three that bear witness on it. First John chapter 5 verse 6. There is also three that bear witness in heaven. First John 5, 6. These who came by water and blood, talking about Jesus. Not only by water, but by water and the blood. And it's the Spirit who bear witness because the Spirit is the truth. Let's move to verse 8. Verse 8, please. And there are three that bear witness on earth the spirit the water and the blood and these three agree as one ladies and gentlemen before Jesus died he introduced three things he introduced the spirit to them he introduced the blood through communion through sprinkling and through drinking and through pleading and the next thing introduced was the water introduced the feet washing introduced the person of the holy ghost introduced the communion he left and he told them about the mystery of the communion he also told them about the mystery of the person of the holy ghost the one that the church have not been able to maximize is the mystery of the water and he called them together in John 13. I said, guys, listen. Everything I've been telling you is a mystery. You are clean. But if you don't, if I don't wash your feet, you are not going to be a partaker of everything that I came with. If I do not wash your feet, you have no part in me. You are not a co-sharer of what I came with. And Peter said, it's not only my feet. Wash my head. Wash everything. You know, feet is enough. And Genesis chapter 45 verse 13, amazing scripture that surprised me. We're in the season of glory. Genesis 41 verse 13. I have no business coming up here, but because we are in the sensitive thing, I, I had all kinds of nonsense in my back, marks, everything. Until I submitted to feet washing many years ago, a friend of mine who happens to be my senior colleague in faith told me rich man that's what he calls me say rich man dip your leg inside this water i dip my leg and he wash my feet because we are friends i can open up my clothes and you know he knows how i says and he said to me what happened to your body i said i don't know this man has been there for a long time as soon as my feet was dipped those terrible marks on my body disappeared and he said to me my friend, he has a prophetic grace. He said, that was the mark that they will use to trace you all the days of your life. You will not amount to anything. 
45 verse 13 Joseph speaking for himself Joshua said go and tell my father of all my glory in Egypt every time people talk less of you talk of all kinds of devastation frustration and what have you is a sign that you have not amounted to anything when you amount to something they will not speak less of you they will start talking of what they have seen tell my father go guys go all of you go tell my father of my glory and all that you have seen tell him they saw him exalted in high position that's glory they saw the story of joseph changed they saw so many things if people are to take messages and news and report about you what will they tell people about you you're going to dip your leg inside this water the bible speaking concerning Naaman. he said go and dip your body inside the water god would have just stretched forth his hand and said be healed and they dipped the body inside the water leprosy disappeared he was a captain but but every time there's a boat in your life you need to wash it up that boat will be washed off and that glory will be seen in your life if you believe that let me hear you believe in amen so it's not a church doctrine it's a mystery ordained by God things of the kingdom we don't understand it because we want to view and look at it with the natural eyes so if three bear witness on earth he said the water the blood and the spirit you better ask yourself what are these things what are these things so in this church God took it up for us I said don't wash people's feet with just water wash it with the blood that was what he told us don't just wash it with ordinary water wash it with the blood your feet will be seen in high places yes. I didn't hear you louder amen yes. your feet will be seen in high places yes. your feet will not be seen in low places of life yes. your life will carry so much glory yes. everything that I have clogged around your life causing a drag I make a declaration it shall be washed off this morning if you believe that say a big guy amen the Bible speaking in the book of Habakkuk chapter 3 he said my feet shall be like the hinge feet and I shall walk in my high places Habakkuk chapter 3 I think verse 18 and 19 I pray for someone today whatever that have been making you to walk in low places the Lord God is my strength he will make my feet like the dear's feet and he will make me walk on high hills in some translation he said high places high places high places this feet that will be dipped inside the blood I make a declaration you will not be seen in low places again you will not be seen in low places again now that disease will be washed off yes that ill health will be washed off that sickness will be washed off that stagnation will be washed off whatever that kept in one place shall be washed off if you believe that's a big guy amen every time we want to conduct feet washing we announce it this is the first time we are conducting feet washing we didn't announce it why why she was preparing because in the roster of um, ministers um, um, that will be ministering in the course of the season she is the one that will be ministering while she was preparing she said this is what I had I said whatever you hear we are in charge we are ministering there's no special two steps to feet washing when things are done suddenly it's because God is in a hurry when things are done suddenly it's because God, when there is no special announcement over a thing you see the service you will refer to it all throughout this year you will refer to it you will be seen in high places you will be seen in high places you will be seen in high places whatever that have been making your feet to be dragging backward little step forward 32 step backward those days are over in the mighty name of jesus christ i like the ministers to take their position now listen 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 all we do in swift church is being done by faith we didn't bring the water or communion from jerusalem or did we bring brought it from rome we are faith we are faith 
Jesus came. I had to shut up. He came with the spirit. He came with the blood. But he needed to access water. As soon as he entered water, heaven opened. And he didn't enter water closing his mouth. The Bible says he entered praying and the heaven opened. Don't come here and close your mouth. You must be praying. So the Jesus Christ we are talking about came with the spirit, came with the blood, and he also assessed water. He said, John said, don't baptize me. He said, ah, to fulfill all righteousness. You don't understand the mystery of this water. If I don't need water, I would have gone my way. But I needed to connect to it. Most of us have not done it before. Most of us have done it before, but we did it without faith. And we did it without proper understanding. So I've shown it to you. It came by water. It came by blood. And it also came by the spirit. In today's meeting, I declare, as this blood, this communion, I convert everything we are using as a communion, as the blood of Jesus. As it touches your leg, whatever that I've kept you in one spot has been washed off today. In the precious name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. As many that will be entering into this pool, <laughs> the Bible talks about the pool in Jerusalem, in John chapter 5. He said, everyone that first dive in, please, John 5, 4, John 5, 4, John 5, verse 3 and 4. Please, let me show you something. He said, he said, he said, so an angel went down at a certain session into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever that first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease. Whoever, whatsoever, whoever, whatsoever. So everyone that will be coming out this morning, whatever that have crippled, stagnated, kept your life perpetually in the low level. I declare, after this situation, you shall be seen in high places. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. The ushers will be directing us on how we're going to be coming. And please do yourself a favor, pull off your shoe, and then as the God directs you, you will come up. Thank you, Abba Father. Open the floor gates. And cause your rain Let's do it quickly, quickly, quickly So fall on me Open up your gates In abundance And cause your rain To fall on me Baba, oh, Baba Why you are coming to pray? Why you are coming to pray? Why you are coming to pray? Fall on me, Lord, open the floodgates, God, in abundance, and cause your rain, the rain of glory, to fall on me, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, cry out of Father. Baba, oh, Baba, oh, Baba, oh. 